Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of the Sports Corner presented by the Niner Times where we cover anything and everything about Charlotte 49er athletics. I'm your host Bradley Cole and let's dig into what happened this past week. On the road, the Charlotte volleyball team struggled with two 0-3 losses against North Carolina and Winthrop. Moving to the men's soccer team, they had a bounce back week with two big wins. First coming on the road against UNCW 3-1 and then this past Sunday, the 49ers beat Niagara 2-1 at home. For the first time this season, the 49ers got on the board first with a goal from Jonathan Iringo for a 1-0 lead. The assist came from Cameron Lacey. After the Purple Eagles evened it up later in the game, Cameron Lacey once again came up clutch for the 49ers, scoring a goal to make it 2-1. The 49ers now move to 4-2 on the season and will host South Carolina this Saturday at 7 p.m. to start Conference USA play. The Charlotte women's soccer team struggled at home this week, losing to Southern Miss 0-2. The 49ers had five real opportunities to get a goal, but all of those opportunities hit the post. However, the 49ers bounced back this past Sunday at Louisiana Tech, winning 2-1. The 49ers are now 5-4 on the season and will host FAU this Sunday. After a successful 2020 season for the Charlotte baseball team, the team is now back on the diamond this fall, gearing up for the spring season. The Charlotte 49er football team took a perfect 2-0 record into Atlanta, Georgia this past Saturday to face Georgia State in a non-conference affair. After a slow first quarter, the 49ers got on the board first after forcing a fumble, which then led to a Chris Reynolds 36-yard pass to Elijah Spencer. However, Georgia State would also score on a 35-yard touchdown pass, making the score 7-7 going into halftime. Coming out of the half, the Charlotte 49ers forced a safety as Georgia State was trying to get out of their own end zone early in the third quarter. This gave Charlotte a 9-7 lead. However, Georgia State would find an offensive spark to win the game 20-9. The 49ers struggled overall on offense, only scoring in the first half. The 49ers will now look to bounce back at home against Middle Tennessee this Friday at 6.30 p.m.